it one step at a time. It has been more than a few months since the launch of Mortal Kombat 1 and a ton of the community is still shouting online, making their voices heard that they want cameos out of the game. They want a 1v1 mode without cameos. They're complaining that cameos ruin the game. And I'm here to break the news to you that cameos are here to stay. Like whether you like them or not, whether you hate them or whatever, cameos are not going anywhere and that's okay. I feel like we need to accept the game for what we get, not for the game that we want to get. And we got cameos in Mortal Kombat 1 and personally I love them I think they're great they offer combo extension they offer different utility you can make yourself projectile and vulnerable you can give yourself a full screen armored reset with scorpion you can drain your opponent's bar with Cyrax and Serena you can combo off moves you normally couldn't anyways it is an assist fighter Mortal Kombat 1 is an assist fighter and I can see why you might not like that that's not for everyone that's not everyone's taste I get it but it's so weird seeing all the comments of like remove them we need a 1v1 there wouldn't really be a point in that because cameos really they, they, they just make Mortal Kombat 1 what it is like I do believe that Mortal Kombat 1 will go down in history as the Mortal Kombat that had cameos or assist fighters and let's be honest it's kind of cool you can play your main character Raiden Liu Kang Shao Kahn whoever but then also use other characters special moves like you can play Liu Kang but also use Sub-Zero's freezing by using Sub-Zero as a cameo you can play Raiden but then also use Scorpion's fire breath you get the idea you can play your favorite character with your second favorite character special moves kind of or just tack on special moves that benefit your character in a good way or let's say your opponent's trying to zone you out really bad well guess what you can just change up cameos like sub-zero or chameleon and make yourself projectile and vulnerable now your opponent can't zone you out anymore so you have an answer to a lot of your problems if your character lacks an overhead you can use chameleon or scorpion or even striker and give your character a good overhead if you're a big grabbing character you might want to use a character that allows you to combo off grabs and a lot of cameos can do that. Here's my comparison. You know how in Mortal Kombat 11, every character had what, five, six or seven special moves and you only had three slots. So you had to choose your special moves like carefully. So if one special move you wanted took up two slots, well now you can only use a different special move that had one slot. And let's be honest, every character had the better special moves. So you were just gonna use those special moves and then nothing else. They, did, they just didn't really matter. And so the character just didn't feel complete. They didn't feel like I had everything. They didn't feel like a complete packaged character because I had to pick and choose the special moves of that character and though at first people hated it it was what it was like people we just we just got it and we had to work with it mortal kombat 1 has cameos and we just gotta work with it this is the new choosing your special moves your character's foundation is done you get a full character but now you can tack on any additional special moves that you want whether it be from frost or kung lao or scorpion or serena or darius you can just tack on any special moves that you want to use and what's cool is any character can use those extra special move anybody can choose frost anybody can choose serena or sonia you get it also with mkx they had variations every character had three variations and at first people did not like that they're like no give me a full-on character and again typically there were better variations of a character like if you played raiden you might play the other two but you're probably gonna be playing thunder god the most just because it had a bit more benefits than the other ones did so yes there were better variations and you saw those more often than the other variations but the variations didn't really go anywhere they were just part of the game and of course another realm wasn't just gonna take them out they were a big part of the foundation of the whole game mortal kombat 1's kind of the same cameos are just gonna be a big part of the game do i think that mortal kombat 1 will ever bring a 1v1 mode without cameos no because cameos just bring so much to the table a lot of characters are kind of built around cameos like let's just be honest there are a lot of characters that do revolve and kind of rely on certain cameos to you know quote unquote be good but i kind of feel that's how the game is supposed to be right like you you, you pick a character and you're like okay who like which cameos go good with my character or who do i want to use do i want to use scorpion's fire breath and get the overhead or do i want to play with chameleon and be kind of crazy like because it changes variations every like six seconds or so like you get to choose how you play and i kind of dig that do i think they're gonna double down on cameos though i think maybe again they're just a big part of the game i could see them like hey we don't have time or the resources to put in a full character but we could put in just some cameos and i would take it in fact i could see them doing a 2v2 mode 
showed more than anything like let's say the cameos become playable as like a secondary playable character and their ambush moves kind of become their replace you moves so you're in a combo you do scorpion's fire breath and then boom now you're playing scorpion you do a combo and you do raiden's electric fly now you're playing raiden you get the idea i can maybe see them doing that but even then that's kind of iffy i personally just see them keeping main characters and cameos separate that was a big selling point of the game when they were marketing it before it came out it's on the box art it was in the trailers like cameos are cameos they are assist fighters and i don't think they're going anywhere and if you truly and really hate cameos then one i think this game's not for you which is fine it's not everybody's cup of tea but also you should probably stop begging on twitter or reddit for a non-cameo mode because we're just not gonna get it in fact i would work on just embracing cameos working with them having fun with them because they are really fun like i find cameos really enjoyable they change the game up a lot they can give you utility that you might need in a fight i love them and don't get me wrong at first i was like whoa this is kind of weird i don't know if i like this or not but again the faster you work on accepting them and just playing with them having fun with them you'll learn to like them you might even find your favorite cameos you just love playing with i don't know guys these are just my thoughts on cameos from mortal kombat 1 let me know down below what are your thoughts do you like them do you hate them do you see them ever doing a 1v1 mode and like kind of negating cameos or do you see them doing a 2v2 mode maybe let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more fighting game content and go ahead and click into this video for even more stuff